Hey everyone, it's me, Julia Wang, and today I am here with Christina from Chatty Mouse. I'm sure a lot of you guys recognize her, and she is going to be teaching me how to make this beautiful holiday theme charcuterie board. Alrighty guys, let's get started. Let's get started, I'm excited. All right, so I see we have everything set up, and first things first, what do I do? Okay, so I like to start with the bigger pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and take the grapes and the ramekins. Okay. Okay, so let me go ahead and put the grapes down first. So these ramekins, can you tell us exactly what's in each one? Definitely. So this, we have some little spicy jam, okay. which is a showstopper. You've had it a lot. I've I'm sure it, people, yeah. it's a craze, people love it. And then we have mesquite honey. Um, both of these honeys are actually from Casa Market. I love their products. You're, I mean, you've tried them before, but the honey is just a better quality. So here we have a multi-floral honey. So it's infused, and then this one is a total te different texture, um, and it's called mesquite. So we have three different um, jams and jellies. We always like to add that extra touch of sweetness. So then, now that we have the ramekins, we're gonna go ahead and start over with our cheeses. Okay, so the ramekins, you don't want them touching. You kind of want them. Exactly, okay. exactly. And you want them different sizes. Yes. Okay. Yes, because okay. it adds like kind of that like visual aesthetic. Like, like the layering, amazing. right? Yeah. yeah, so I did a video recently yes. on the centerpiece and we talked about how layering is so important aesthetic-wise. Aesthetic -wise. So even works on one yeah. of these boards. It, literally, <laughs> our eyes just like that, kind of some stuff popping up at us. Okay. So, the same thing you said about the ramekins is what we're gonna do with the cheeses. Okay. We don't want the cheeses touching. You okay. know, we want them kind of away from each other or across. So let's start with our superstar. So our superstar is the brie. Oh, yes, that's everyone's yeah. favorite. Right? <laughs> so let's leave this. Maybe we don't need that, but we're gonna go ahead and make this kind of into a little flower. Okay. Um, so we're gonna make it look like a little Design. We're gonna give it a design. Mm -hmm. So take a little peek of the way they do it. So when you want to recreate this, you just layer them on top of one another. Okay. Um, until you get this beautiful little flower looking. So where did you learn how to do this? Just out of curiosity. So I actually lived in Italy. Oh. I lived okay. in Italy for almost a year. Oh. Um, first I studied abroad there, and then I decided like I just love the culture. I love all cultures actually. Mm -hmm. So um, being there kind of made me a cheese fanatic. Yeah. And then after that, I just made them all the time until you get bored with one design and you change it up. Oh, that's so just fun. Learn. So you actually learned from like the real place to learn, right? The real yeah, deal. it wasn't on like TikTok or YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have the brie, the brie here. Okay, I want you to place the second one. Okay. So we can probably do, let's try the manchego and then I'll tell you like, kind of how I like to do it. Okay. So this one's it. Let me give you some of this. Okay. So I like to kind of make it into a little, like crisscross each other. Okay. So I'm gonna do it like that, and you should do the remaining. Okay. You know, I get, always get nervous about doing stuff like this, because I remember I took an art class in high school and I barely passed. <laughs> like art is just not my thing. Like my husband is so much better at it than I am. Oh. I feel like I'm more creative in other ways. But, yeah, you're yeah. super creative. So I would feel like maybe, I don't know, this I do consider art though. It, do, it is art, yeah. I do, it's art on a plate. So, but you're a really creative period. And I pre-slice them. Mm -hmm. um, you will be surprised uh, that people do not touch cheeses that aren't sliced. Oh, yeah. Like if well, it's hard sometimes to well, Like embarrassing? Yeah. I don't know why people don't get in and like just yeah. go and cut it up themselves. I think they yeah. like want to, you know, be classy and <laughs> elegant and then you're just like hammering into a cheese, right? It kind of... <laughs> right. Okay, so I think that's good for now. So isn't that cute already? Yeah, that's so cute. Yeah, I know, started. it looks so good. So I want you to do the second one. Okay. So let's, same thing that I did here, let's go ahead and do it like on this side and let's do it with the chevre. Okay. So let me give you kind of a little, um, I'm gonna put more grapes. The reason is because I want you to layer the um, chevre and it needs kind of like a little holder. Okay. That we did the holder here okay. so that it stands up. All right, let's do it. Let me get you a napkin because you might get a little messy. All right, I'm gonna try this. Let's see how it goes. 
You'll do good, I'm sure. And it is really soft. Yeah, it is messy, right? It's messy, but it looks so good. It's worth the mess. Yeah. <laughs> and then from there, what's next? So from there, I will go ahead and do our other pretty little festive cheese. Okay. So we'll put this down. And we're also gonna make a little decoration with this. We'll just put this like that, going up. You can definitely taste the quality, and I have to say too, your fruits, like your grapes are so crisp and fresh. Oh. And I'm I'm a, like I'm super OCD when it comes to like the crispiness of my if fruit. They're squishy, yeah, they're trash. Nice. And, yeah, I guess is that you just kind of get from Trader Joe's as well. Um, those are actually from HEB. Oh my gosh, and you're just really selective. I I'm guess. super I'm <laughs> annoying. I'm like looking at them and like maybe touching yeah, them. I because can't. There's nothing I hate more than like soft, squishy fruit and yeah. I'm glad you noticed that. <laughs> I definitely noticed okay, that. Okay, because look at these grapes, like you'll try them and they're also just perfect. Yeah, yeah so it's like crisp, juicy, thing. yeah. And you'll find that like once you do it so long, it's like you know what stores have what. What's next? We're gonna do the charcuterie. Okay. So we should have like again, like maybe not. So this is regular salami, spicy salami, and then we have our little speck and prosciutto. Okay. We want to have everything, uh, you know, not the same types next to each other either. Okay. We want them apart. Okay. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna bring that plate over. And is this the normal kind of meats that I use? Yeah. Yes. The salami, spicy salami. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. And then um, for the bigger tables, like grazing tables that we make, then we'll add different kinds of like sausages mm -hmm. and different kinds of salamis. But those for boards, that's our steak. Okay. You know, this is making me nervous. Like, I feel like I'm like... No, you're doing a really good <laughs> job. And you kind of are a natural. Like, even with that little thing at turning the cheese, it's like, yes, you have an eye for perfection. So just how many... That's perfect okay. there. We can switch now. So, like, maybe here you see where there's, like, a gap. You can fill it in with the one that's flat. Perfect. Um, okay. That's good. You're okay. When you, like, started booking me, I, like, exploded. <laughs> well, that makes me happy. I like seeing... <laughs> You know, especially I feel like with local like female businesses, I have like a soft spot. You for always that. rep them. <laughs> I oh, yeah, I rep my uh, women-owned businesses here. In you Houston. do, which it's really helpful. I mean, you should like obviously. I'm sure you know, but it's really helpful for the rest of us that it's kind of like you use your platform and you help so many people. Because for me, I was a newbie. Yeah. I had no friends here. Of yeah. no um. Like I had to build my my business organically, and you really, really, really gave me a boost. Well, thank you. That makes me really, really happy. <laughs> we call it like the little prosciutto river. Okay. So you're gonna see how there's like a little bit of a gap here. So we're mm -hmm. gonna put it all across right there. So put the prosciutto right in the middle, okay. like a little river. Okay. So is there a certain way I do it? No. I'll <laughs> literally just toss a it. Prosciutto river. <laughs> Hear that, you guys. Next time I'm making these boards, I'm gonna be like, well, this prosciutto river here. <laughs> Make it seem like I know what I'm talking you about. You know what you're talking about. It's fancy, fancy. So, and you could end it here since there's already meat there. We don't want them okay. touching. So. This, is, this looks so good though. We're already doing so good. Look at how cute and festive it's looking. As I was telling you, I'm like, I'm a country mouse. A country mouse did not grow up with this. Yeah. But well, isn't it so funny? Like just our backgrounds and where we are now, you're like, oh, wow. <laughs> I, I feel like so it makes fancy. You proud, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put these crunchies down, starting with the peanut butter pockets, because they're my favorite. So tell me, how did you come up with the name Chatty Mouse? Where I grew up, mm -hmm. they call me Mouse. Oh. So. Why do they call you Mouse? Well, it actually originated from rat. Because <laughs> I get into bad things and I never get caught. Oh, <laughs> what? Hey, girl, I'm right there with you, all right? <laughs> okay, perfect then, there. And then we have another little gap here. The glazed ones. Yes. These are my son's favorites because they're they? like sugary. Oh yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> all right, so we have that and then these almonds, where do those? So we could just do those, like since they have color, we could just sprinkle those like on the top of the cheese. You see how they, it's like colorful? Oh, okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and add that color we were talking about. Yeah. So let's, I'm gonna give you um, these. Okay. So we have here, we have Raspberries, cranberries. So and now let's try to fill in like the cranberries. They could fit right here. Okay. And then do whatever you'd like with the strawberries, wherever you want to place them. But let's fill that up. And then you have the raspberries. Are we going to use the raspberries? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we could use the raspberries. We, we can, you, you could put them um, wherever you decide, like wherever your eye thinks it works best. I do like to put some just on 
the brie oh, yeah, that's pretty. to make a little flower. And we're gonna decorate that a little more oh, with the wow. garnishes, but okay. for now, we'll just do that. And then where do you see fit? Maybe right here, a little bit on okay. top. Yep. Okay, so now you have, um, you still have your pomegranates, which is super festive, I think. Yeah. There's something about, these are like edible rubies to me. <laughs> Aren't they pretty? Yeah, they look really pretty. So just place them wherever you li what you'd like. I'm gonna put one here. Okay. And now you have some more to work with. So just grab some of those and put them in the little gaps that you see. All right. That's the really nice thing about starting with the big stuff first, that the other stuff is just like, it chooses itself. It's like fillers, The gaps are there. Right? Yeah, they're literally fillers. So, so we did our fruit. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our fun stuff now. Yeah, <laughs> let's do the fun stuff. So do you want to tell everyone what you put on this plate? So since we're going kind of festive, yeah. um, we have pretzels with the peppermint. And then we have, um, these are meringues. Mm -hmm. Fancy, fancy. <laughs> <laughs> and then peppermint chocolate too. So kind of like you know the Yeah, company. I love it, okay. So what made you want to start this company? I mean, I know you went to Italy and you're kind of like inspired there, but as soon as you got back, did you start doing this? As soon as I got back, I started making it for myself. Because uh -huh. <laughs> it was so good. Yeah. And then I started making it for my family. That's usually how it starts, and friends. And they right. forced me to like start, and I was like, <laughs> okay, fine. And then it just picked up. They were my first clients. Well, my family's amazing, yeah. so they actually purchased it for me. Oh, they wow. Were, like, no, no, my you. family would not purchase it from me. They'd be like, <laughs> uh, excuse me, can you uh, deliver these free boards to me oh and not only me but my my friends and oh their friends gosh. yeah okay crazy. I feel like I need to cut this board okay I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of honeycomb on the breeze yes. so now we're going into total decoration mode okay I really take it so like I'm such a well I'm a Virgo yeah it's a perfectionist yeah and you were talking about it so it's like it's actually a bad thing well I actually know you're a perfectionist again by your fruit quality because that's just a very <laughs> specific thing and I just know every time it just and it's hard to honestly be consistent with fruit like and I feel like it's always so fresh and you buy it the day of so. thank you so much yeah I'm, you could tell you could see the Virgo and the fruit <laughs> <laughs> so you can just get some um, pomegranates and drizzle wherever you'd like okay and so do you normally do pomegranates even when it's not Christmas or are you just doing this more because it's like... So I'm doing the whole ones because mm -hmm. it's Christmas so you like doing it like that I feel like it looks more Christmassy. Yeah. Um, but pomegranates are just so pretty. So I think, what do you think? Yeah, it looks amazing. It looks so, so amazing. And honestly it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I think whenever I see like the whole board again it just looks so overwhelming and I'm like you know what like I don't even know where to start. <laughs> but when you break it up like this I think it's definitely not only helps me uh, but it helps my followers and to be honest I mean I'm not gonna like do this all the time. I'm a working mom. I'm right. super busy. I, mean, I don't know how you do all uh, that you do already. So you know I'm sure a lot of other moms and people who follow me they're like well I don't want to make this board. It's a nice to know but you know can you tell my followers kind of how they can order this board from you and what's the best way to get in contact with absolutely, you Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much. So um, go ahead and contact thechattymouse.com and you can check out all our different sizes, all our different prices. And then um, if you feel more comfortable, you want to chit chat with me, you can always send us a DM through, um, the, through Instagram at the chatty mouse. So um, that's the easiest way to order. But if you want to do it yourself too, I hope this video really helps. Yeah, yeah, I think it does for a lot of people. For a lot of people, yeah. And then actually I feel like once you do it yourself, you really appreciate the chatty mouse. <laughs> You're like, okay, I got a book for next time. Yeah, definitely. Well, I appreciate you. And again, thank you so much for coming out and for helping me learn how to do this. Thank you so much for having thank me, you. Julia. I was flattered, by the way, when you reached out. I was like, absolutely, yeah, now, today. Yeah. And hopefully we can do a lot more business together and realtors. I know I have a ton of realtors that follow me. This is the perfect closing gift. I give it to all of my clients. And honestly, there's not a single client that has been like, you know, everyone goes, uh, you know, is raving about it. I get photos of people eating it that night. Yeah, so it's a great, great, great closing gift. Um, but yeah, that's it for the day. So again, if you have any questions or if you want to order from her, please reach out to her. Other than that, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye.